Hello everybody, welcome to Shrew Voyage. Today I'm going over my favorite eyeliners by Victoria Beckham. There are 13 eyeliners and I have 11 of them today. So I'm gonna show you guys how to wear these liners in various ways and also show you guys some swatches. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go over a few key points. I am looking at the Victoria Beckham website and it states that they are highly pigmented ultra creamy pencil with waterproof wear that lasts all day. It also goes on to state that they deliver rich true color payoff in one stroke glide on easily. They set for a smudge proof waterproof long wear staying power. They're infused with vitamin E pro vitamin B5 and calming chamomile. Now what I love about these eyeliners and you're going to see as I'm applying them is that they glide on really easy. They almost feel like a cream pot eyeshadow in stick form. And so you have time to blend them on the lid and wear them as shadows. And then once they set, they set. Now I do want to be very clear about something here when it comes to these eyeliners. And that is they do move a very little bit. So if you're looking for something that doesn't move whatsoever, let's say you have a hooded lid and your eyeliner stamps up through here, or you find that your eyeliner is transferring below throughout the day, head towards the Chanel Stilo or Stylo U eyeliners because those really do not budge. These Victoria Beckhams are great for blendability and for long wear and they're waterproof, but because they have that creamy slip, they do move a bit. If you absolutely love these eyeliners and you want to use them but want a budge proof way to wear them if you're having some sort of transfer you can always take a little bit of your face powder and add a little bit on top that will help to control the creaminess or the oils that are in there to help it from moving around or you can take your makeup setting spray add a little to a brush and go ahead and pat that on top of the eyeliner which i will show you guys today let's go ahead though and get started with a few looks Now I'm not gonna be able to try on all the eyeliners. So I did purposely group the colors in order of different eye colors. So for instance, these two colors here, which are the Navy Noir and Surfside are beautiful for brown eyes. Next is Copper and Bronze. And these two colors look beautiful with blue eyes. And then the next color pairing is the purples, which you guessed it, Purple is going to sit opposite of the color wheel of green. Or if you have hazel eyes, you cannot go wrong with wearing these kind of purple kind of plum colors or this purple with a little bit of red in it. All right, next is these three. And I find that this color here, which is just a beautiful kind of brown, bronze, little silver, kind of pulls warm and cool at the same time, uh, looks universally beautiful on everybody. And I love to take this color and put it on top of my matte brown or black to soften the intensity of those colors. Now, black and brown are beautiful because they universally look good on everybody's eyes and they help to, you know, draw the eyes out. They intensify a shape, but I find that they can be a bit harsh. So I like to add either a orange or bronze or this kind of silvery brown color on top to soften that hard line and to also bring color out in the eyes. So for instance, for blue eyed people, I would add the brown and then go on top with either the copper or the bronze to soften the intensity of the brown while also bringing out your eye color. It helps to create a more complex eye look and it helps to pull different colors in the eyes to really create a nice, full, sexy look. Let me go ahead and show you guys the olive color. So, so pretty. Let's 
So the only two I don't have are the two gray colors, which is the sea gray and ash. And the sea gray is metallic and ash is the matte gray. All right, what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to do two different eye looks. I'm gonna try to use as much of the pencils as possible. So on one eye, I'm gonna use the two blue colors and then this silver color, which is the quartz and this will be a cool eye look. And then on the other side, I'll do a warmer eye look with the bronze, the copper, and the olive green. And then the ones I don't think I'll use today, but you never know, are the black, the brown, and the two plum colors. And the only reason why I'm not using these is because I've used these quite a lot on my channel. They're the ones that I kind of reach for most often. So I wanna show you the colors that I don't use as often. And the newer ones, Quartz is new as well as Surfside. I'm going to take quartz and I'm going to put it all over the lid and use this as my eyeshadow because I love to use these as a base. I place it all over the lower lid and I'll just take my pinky and lightly blend it in and upward onto that brow ridge. How pretty is that color? Quick one and done, you could use it as eyeliner or as eyeshadow and it just really makes the eyes sparkle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the two blue colors. I'm gonna start with the surf side because I'm dying to see what this looks like. I have not tried this on yet except for just watch it for you guys today. I'm going to add this to the lower lash line. Another nice little detail about these eyeliners is it has a beautiful sponge tip applicator and it's really soft and it's got a great point on there. I was gonna go underneath, but I think what I'm gonna do is just go into that water line. because I'm gonna add the darker blue underneath. Now I'm using this sponge tip and blending that onto the lashes. Ooh, that is so vibrant and pretty. I love that it's kind of like a teal turquoise color. Now, quick tip for those of you who like the shimmery colors that have the really finely milled glitter particles. This is quartz, this is copper, and this is bronze, and they are all shimmery definitely and what happens is with shimmers sometimes they can move around the eye and create a little fallout so what i like to do is take the solid colors that don't have any shimmer and add the shimmers on top so that it has something to stick to and it helps with fallout or transfer you can also use a little bit of makeup setting spray to pop on top of shimmers. Don't obviously put the setting spray towards your eye. What you wanna do is add a little setting spray to a makeup brush, and then you could very lightly tap it on top of the makeup. Just don't get it in your eye, be very careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I mean right now. Here's quartz. I'm just gonna put that on the inner eye corner and go to the center. It also helps to soften the intensity of a bright color like Surfside that I'm wearing is pretty bold. So adding another color on top will diffuse the intensity of the color. All right, from there, I'm gonna go ahead now and take the Navy Noir and place it on my upper lash line, really tight lining it. And then I'm going to use the sponge side to blend it out, kind of soften it up. All right, here we have Surfside, Navy Noir, and Quartz. Let's go ahead and do this other eye. So let's go ahead and start with bronze. We're gonna do a fun little makeup look here. I'm gonna put the bronze on the outer corner of the eye, and I'm gonna put it on the inner corner of the eye and leave a space in the center. Take a brush and blend. I'm really staying on that outer corner and that inner corner and leaving that center alone. From there, you're gonna go ahead and take the copper. I'm gonna place that right in the center all over the lower lid. Feel free to flip your brush over and blend or you can use your finger. From there, we're gonna go ahead and take the olive green color. Taking the olive green, I am blending it onto that lower lash line and not putting it in the water line. And I'm gonna only go halfway. Grabbing now the bronze, I'm going to go from the inner corner and meet 
to the center, overlapping on top of the olive green. Blend it across, working from one corner to the center and then working from the inner corner of the eye to the center. Now I really want my eyes to pop and this is an amazing eye liner pencil for brightening. It's called the Eye Brightening Pencil and I love it because it's not super white. Working in theater and TV and commercials, etc., you want normally to use a white pencil because it really makes the eyes pop. But in day-to-day -day life, you really don't want to put a bright white pencil on the waterline because it's just such an intense look. And like I've said before, you do you. If that's your thing, awesome. But it is definitely a look and it has a 60s kind of vibe to it, which is really cool. For those of you that like a natural look around the eyes, highly recommend the Victoria Beckham Eye Brightening Pencil. I'm going to take that now and put that on the waterline. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Bordeaux. I'm just going to use this as an accent color. So there we have it, eight eyeliner. We just didn't use the last three, which was Fig, the Coco, and the black one. I hope you all enjoyed this look at the Victoria Beckham eyeliners and the tutorial on how you can use these in various ways. Of course, if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out to me. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the content, the best way to support the channel is to go ahead and subscribe. Use the affiliate links down below, and don't forget to head over to TikTok and Instagram. If you want a little bit more Shri Voyage, I do mini tutorials, as well as show you guys a sneak peek of my life as a professional makeup artist. And if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one artistry education lesson, you can head to shrivoyage.com. I'll have the link in the description box down below. And on that note, continue to take care of yourselves continue to take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone